This is a video in response to a forum post on our website. Somebody was asking about using the uh, custom movement panel if they can add their own buttons and I suggested they should use the mobile interface builder. That way they, it works in Easy Builder, the interface you build, as well it works on your phone too. So I don't have a robot here, as usual they're all sent out to magazines and stuff. So I have a servo and I have an Easy B4 and I plug the servo into port D0. So back into Easy Builder here, I can choose Project, Add. Now under Scripting, this is the interface the person was using, it was called Custom Movement Panel. And as you can see, it has uh, buttons for different directions. And if you configure it, you can add scripts to each, each button for each direction. So this is different than using a pre-built movement panel. This is if you're using a, a movement device, maybe an H-bridge or something that we don't currently support. So the movement panel doesn't allow you to add buttons. What we're going to do is we're going to close that down, and we're going to add an interface, mobile interface builder under mobile, and choose interface builder. Now here, I can choose the gear, and I can edit the uh, mobile interface. So this is the mobile interface editor right here. Now I have the ability to, first off, we can change the background templates. So I can choose a variety of different backgrounds. And I'm going to choose the sky. You can also add your own images too. You don't have to use one of our pre-built ones. Now I can add different buttons. So for example, the forward buttons and stuff, all they are are buttons that already have code assigned to them. So if you look at the button I've just added, there's code here and the code is the word forward. So we're just going to delete this because we don't want that button. We're going to add a custom button of our own. So if I scroll down, we have the ability to add regular buttons or image buttons. Image buttons, you can use graphics for the button rather than just the uh, plain white button like you see here. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to say left because we're going to move the servo left. And I'm also going to change the color for this button. I'm going to make it uh, this kind of turquoisey color here. And I'm going to click Save. So always push the Save button after you make changes to apply them to the button. Now I'm going to click edit that script that's associated with the button. So we already know that the servo is on port D0. So I'm going to uh, edit this and say port D0 move to position 10. And we'll save that. Now we're going to add another button. And we're going to make it so it moves to a different position. And we'll change the color. We'll call this one right. And we'll change its color to, um, let's call this pink color here. We'll click save. There we go. Now let's look at the code. And let's take a look, and we've got servo D0. We'll move this one to position 170, we'll say. We'll save that. Now make sure you push the Save button. Did I push the Save button on this one? I did not. So you have to remember to push that Save button, otherwise you'll lose it. So let's go back in here, Edit, and servo D0, move it to position 10. We'll save it, and now we'll push the Save button. There we go. So now we'll click our Save of our interface. There it is. So when I push these buttons, the servos will move. Okay, so I've just created a little uh, example here of how I can move these buttons, make my own interface. Now I can also add other things too. I have, uh, for example, a, a connection control. It shows me if my if I'm currently connected to the EZB. I can also add, like, if you have an EZB4, you can add the CPU temperature as well as the battery voltage, so you can see what's going on with the, uh, the EZB. You also have a, a slider here, which is nice. So if we're going to be controlling a servo, we can specify our range. So we're going to say our minimal range is uh, 20 and our maximum range is going to be, uh, say, 160. And the value here, as you can see, is track bar value. I'm going to copy that. And we're going to edit the script for this. So we're not going to move the servo D0 according to that variable that's set that holds the uh, position based upon the track position. We'll click Save. And now we'll click Save here. So now when I use this slide dial, I can move the servo. So you can see I'm just moving the servo just by using this little slider here. So now if I uh, want this thing to, this, this little program here to exist on my phone, then it makes it, there's a pretty powerful way to do that. So first off, let's, uh, let's disconnect from the EZB. And let's connect back to, uh, to our normal internet network connection here. There we go. So now we're connected to the internet. And under File, I have the ability to click Save to the Cloud, and I can give it a name. We can call it Our Awesome. And I can specify what EZB it uses. It uses the EZB4. Give it a little description, whatever it is that you want. Specify it's public. You can add your own pictures and stuff too. We'll click Save on that. 
and there it goes. Now it's saved it to, the, to the cloud. So if I want to grab my phone, and here's my phone here, then I can load up our Easy Builder mobile app, which is right here, and I'm going to be able to view my private apps. Private apps, watching you. There we go. So there's the app that we've just created. So I'll load it, and there it is, as you can see. Now what I can do is I can select that control that we just created, and there it is. So now I can choose my connection, and I can connect to my EZB over, over Wi-Fi, as soon as it shows up here. Where are you, EZB? There it is. And now I'll connect to it from the software, and we heard it connect, and we'll back out. So there we are. So now we're going to see up here that we're connected, and I have my buttons to move the servo. And I also have my little slide dial here to move the servo in any position I want. You can see I can fine tune it there. And I can see my battery voltage, etc. So we've just created an app that works both in uh, interface that works both on the mobile and works on uh, Easy Builder for Windows as well.